Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. I am very nervous today because I am going to do the biggest canvas that I have ever done. Um, I've got a Loxley gold um, gallery wrapped canvas which is 60 centimetres square or 24 inches square and I have been inspired by Sarah Mac Art and Sarah Taylor who have done these triple decker sandwich pulls and they just look really lovely so I'm hoping to recreate that type of thing. Um, I've got some lovely colours, some I've had left over which was really good so I wanted to use them and I've got these nice sort of natural colours. Um, I, I think it should be a very calming kind of painting. I've got some turquoises, some nice blues, I've got this green, I've got copper and two different golds and some grey and some silver, so a good mix of colours there. Some of them I've put one drop of silicone in and some I will just have as they are. And my white, I will use my normal Dulux and Amsterdam white mix because I really like that and it always works well. So I will mix up four cups. I've looked at some charts and they seem to say that for that type of canvas, that size, I will only need two cups. But I do not want to be running out of paint. Um, and as it's such a big thing for me, I am going to mix up four cups of paint just to make sure because I can always do another little painting with it afterwards if I've got some left over. And what I don't want to be doing is stretching it too much because when I do a cup pour, I really like it when it first comes out of the cups. And if I get any little round cells, that will be nice but I really don't want to stretch it and have zigzaggy jagged ones. So I've mixed up all this paint and uh, I am very anxious about it. Um, so I will get started and we will see how that goes. So I've mixed up all these paints. Um, I've got this little sort of Halloween bucket that I picked up at the shops one day for a pound for exactly this type of occasion. I thought I'd mix up one cup in front of you um, so you could see what I did really and then um, I'll mix the other three up off camera so that you don't have to just watch. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just layer it up. I've mixed this white um, a little bit thicker than I normally do um, just because of, it was this type of pour. And then these on your right, these are the ones that are mixed with silicone and these are the ones that aren't. So I'm just going to drizzle them in really. in no particular order. Put one of these uh, ones with silicone in. So not all the cups are gonna be the same um, order of layering. They will all be slightly different. and some I will do with silicone and some I will do without. I've got the same colours mixed without silicone as well. And a little bit of copper. So it should be a really interesting mix of colours in there. This one's got silicone. I don't know if that's enough of the uh, colours or not, but I'm going to put white over the top. 
So I'm going to do what Sarah Mack and Sarah Taylor did in that I'm going to do two levels with colour and then two levels or three levels with white. This one's got silicone. This is Titanium Gold by Artiste, which is very pretty. There's quite a few extreme sheen metallic colours in here. It's funny really because you do forget what you've put in. This is a deep sapphire, this one, um, by Deco Art. This one has got silicone in, but this one always comes out lovely and shiny. A little bit of the blue topaz next to that. So 24 karat gold. I thought the green um, would be interesting as a contrast because there's lots of blues and there's lots of um, warm colours as well. This is a sand by Artiste, which is a very matte, almost dull colour, but it just makes a nice contrast with some of the others. This is a pearl white, which might be interesting. And this is sapphire, and this one has some silicone in. So I've already done two levels in here, and uh, I haven't anywhere near filled the cup. <coughs> So if I'm doing four cups, that's going to be a lot of pain, isn't it? I don't know. Do I need more paint? I put some silver in. Maybe my four cups are not going to be completely full. So maybe, maybe my other three I need to... Um, fill them a little bit more with colour on the first level. So that has got two layers of paint and three layers of white. So I'm going to do the same with my other three cups, but I will perhaps put a bit more colour in the first layer so it's a bit, got a little bit more paint in it. So I'll turn the camera off for now and I will do my other three. I'll do it on hyperlapse for you.
table. I've had to take my normal tray off because the canvas doesn't fit in it. Um, I've mixed up these cups of paint and now I am ready to pour them on. So I'm going to go from this corner down this way and uh, just take it along and we'll see what happens. I don't know if I've got enough paint or not. Uh, I guess we'll soon find out. I have um, put plastic down on the floor because I suspect that this paint is going to come around this way. <laughs> I suspect that the paint is going to drip off the sides a little bit. So I'm hoping that I've got enough. I mean, I've mixed up kind of three and a half cups, really, almost four. <laughs> and this is already coming off of the top. The colours certainly look nice. I was a little bit worried about the silicone. I don't use silicone very much because uh, I don't like to have caterpillary kind of big cells. And sometimes the silicone does do that. But so far, that is looking very pretty. I think I probably will need all of the three and a half <laughs> cups that I've done because I don't want to be tilting it up and down. I want to be taking it that way, but I don't want to be stretching it out against the lines that I've done. really pretty. I'm pleased I have got all these cups. I'm pleased that I didn't go with the guidelines that seem to say that I would only need to have two cups. These are 16 ounce cups and for the guide that I saw <coughs> it said that I would only need 28 fluid ounces. Well, I can see that I definitely wouldn't get very far with that. <coughs> and in fact, for that last little corner, even then, I'm going to struggle. But maybe with the little cups that I've got left here, I'll just be able to get enough paint to go down to this corner. I haven't, I'm not worried that I haven't got enough paint to cover the sides and everything because I can see already the paint expanding. So I'm not worried about that. Just that I know that I didn't want to tilt the canvas um, downwards and I can always fill in these little areas with some white if it comes down to it or mix up a little bit more. I think it'll be okay. So I think what I will do now is I'm just going to let it settle for a little while. I might put a torch on it a little bit. And then after that, I will stretch it to go over the sides. And I think that will look really pretty, actually. And at the moment, it's looking exactly how I wanted it to look. Let's see what this side is doing. It's not too bad. 
yes it's looking lovely this is what I wanted it to look like and I don't think I want to put a torch on actually because I, I'm happy with those cells that are there let's just see what happens if I tilt it a little bit just very gently I'm going to do everything really slowly because I don't want to ruin it. white on these corners just to help this to come down a bit. Any areas where I can see that it is just looking like it might struggle. I don't want to be stretching it too much. So I think that will go over the edges now. On that side. And I'm just not going to rush this. are looking really really nice they are looking so nice so this will just encourage all that edge just to go over because there's enough paint I'm sure of it I just don't want to overstretch it and get rid of the lovely patterns that I've already got because I really like what I've already got and I don't want them to be jagged. This is just that last little corner where I just had to tap out some of those paints from the cups so it's not surprising that there's just a few little stubborn bits here because this has got less paint here than it has on the rest. There, so that's got that. So now I'm going to um, just move the paint and get it over the sides that little bit. I think I will start just gently from here. 
I am going to go gently because I really like the pattern I've got. So if it's a really long video, I do apologise. I might be able to speed it up a little bit. I do find as well that when I do these types of pours that um, sometimes after a while the paint um, kind of gets not thinner but as it settles and as you move it gently it moves better. not to distort the lines too much. It's that far corner that I need to kind of get to the corner a little bit. And it is getting there. Uh, that has caught there now. bit so I will just tip it up just slightly it doesn't need much just to go over that edge a bit and that's done that now oh, I need it over that way The golds in here, titanium gold by Artiste and the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. They're looking really nice and shimmery. <laughs> I just wanted to get down to that corner. It's going. Okay, that's caught it on that corner now. So let's just assess this. <clears throat> it is looking nice. I do need that corner there and I don't think it will do it a lot of harm if I tip it back over this way a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Just to get that weight in the middle. A little bit more. And then I'm gonna tip up that way. Whoops. <laughs> oh, sorry. So here is this painting. You just missed the last little bit of me stretching um, when I knocked the camera. I'm just standing on a stool here, just so I can get above it to show you all of it. And uh, it's looking really pretty at the moment. It hasn't gone too jagged, I'm pleased to say. And the colours are looking really nice. I'll just get down a little bit for you to see. 
the colours with the turquoise and the gold and the coppers. Nice kind of earthy calming colours and the edges are looking lovely. I didn't torch it at all, I put the lights on, I didn't torch it at all because I was happy with the amount of cells there were and with the silicone I didn't want to encourage them to go kind of big and ugly. And you can see the gold. And those nice blues. And uh, that's a nice little corner with gold and green. And the edge again. So that'll look lovely when it's up on the wall. And I will put a nice gloss finish on this. I think it'll be lovely. So for my first attempt at a very large canvas for me, um, 60 centimetres square or 24 inches square, um, it has gone really well. I'm pleased to say I haven't got too much mess to clear up. I managed to keep reasonably tidy. And here it is, this way up I think is how it will go. So I will let you see that when it has dried, it'll probably take a few days. So bye for now. So here is this painting. It's been about four days since I painted it and it is really only just dry this morning. I will move in closer for you to be able to see. And I've been really excited waiting for this to dry because as it's been drying, the metallic colours have been coming out more and it has been looking really lovely. That lovely bright turquoise and there might be a bit of a sapphire in there as well. And these lovely little bubbly areas. I'm actually pleased that I didn't put the torch on it because I think all these lovely small bubbles would have developed into really big cells that I wouldn't have wanted. And that copper and the titanium gold and the 24 karat gold uh, have just come up really lovely. And there's a bit of sapphire in that little section there. So it's a very interesting painting. Yeah, I really love the metallic colours in it. Um, I've put it up next to some others that I've done without silicone. So these are the same kind of metallic colours um, without silicone and you can see how they don't really have the round bubbly bits like this has. And I I'm very sure that it's the silicone that has made those sort of round bubbly bits. And this is another one that I did that had no silicone, again in similar colours. And that has a lovely gloss varnish over the top of that as well. And there is that one as well, which is a lot more swirly. So it's very interesting. I'm going to stand back a little bit because it's so big <laughs> for my first really big canvas. I think it has turned out quite well. It would be interesting to do one without the silicone. It would also be interesting to make the ribbons bigger and not so narrow. Um, but yeah, for my first attempt at a really big canvas, I am pleased with it. It certainly doesn't feel like it was a disaster and I was really worried that it might be. Uh, the other thing with it is that the edges are lovely. A little bit of green there. A 
and I do like all these little bubbles. It does make it seem, with the colours that it is, kind of watery. And I think that the colours are very successful. They are just quite natural colours. I don't think it would have been quite as nice if it wasn't quite um, natural colours. So there, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Any suggestions you might have for my next one, I would really appreciate. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.